Okay, let's move on to depreciation. So this is the second type of um, adjustments. Depreciation represents the a decline in the assets value as the assets is being used in the business. And typically here we're referring to long-term assets. Okay, can you give me some of the examples of long-term assets? Any of the assets that can be used for more than a year? Just randomly, some of the examples. Building. What else? You have equipment, usually machinery, furniture, fixtures. All of these are typically the assets that can be used for longer than a year. Okay, so their usefulness is not like supplies that it's easily been used up within a year. It's usually there in the business. They're usually larger in size as well, longer in lifetime. So we'll be evalu evaluating their value based on depreciating them along the years. So meaning that this piece of furniture here, I may estimate in the beginning, once I purchase it in, the corporation may estimate it to have, let's say, 10 years of lifetime. So if I purchase this asset with a value of, let's say, $1,000, and if I estimate this furniture has 10 years of lifetime, then every single year I will be reducing the asset by $100. So this is the idea of depreciation. If the lifetime of the asset is 10 years, then as I use this asset in the corporation, I'll be reducing the value by a certain amount every single year. This is what we call depreciation. We are measuring how we have been using the asset and assuming that the asset's value has went, gone down, has declined along the years. Okay, so this is only used for long-term asset. For the assets that is usually there in the corporation for longer than a year. Okay, we're trying to measure the value, the usefulness of the asset. It has gradually degraded along the years as we use it in the corporation. So the beginning value is the value when we purchase it in, assuming it's a thousand dollars. Then at the end of this lifetime, everything within the process when we use the asset will be reducing it based on a certain value. This is called depreciating the asset reducing the asset's value. Okay, so one of the accounts that we'll be using for assets, for long-term assets, will be a depreciation account. This depreciation in itself is an asset, is an expense account. Okay, so expense account, whatever we record that, assuming that $100, it will be captured under the debit.